Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. Welcome back. Today I have a whimsical little card, Bumblebee Fun. This is by House Mouse Designs by Stampendous, and it is so much fun to work with. So I got myself a little uh, panel here, and I started with a four and a half by five and three quarter inch panel, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my image on there. Now the Stampendous uh, stamps come with two pieces of this little peel off stuff. You want to leave the one over the rubber stamp as is because it actually has the image. And if you're using a stamping platform, make sure it's on the rubber stamp side of things because this is a clean rubber stamp. It's not a clear stamp. So you get that positioned in and then that little film that's over the actual stamp is what will stick to your stamping platform. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink because I will be using markers to color in this image and this ink will not bleed. So when you're using a stamp for the first time, it kind of has to season up a little bit. That means to use it multiple times. And you can see where a stamping platform comes in handy because I do need to restamp to get my bees just a little crisper. Since bees are naturally just yellow and black. I want that black to really be crisp. So now I am getting ready to get started here with my coloring. But I decided after I had that stamp that I need to cut this down a little more. So I used a smaller rectangular die and that seemed to be a much better fit for this image. All right, so let's get to the fun part. I'm going to show you a little bit of coloring here and then I'll put on some music and let you enjoy the process. So one of the things I like to do on my bees is start with a very light blue and then I'll pull that color out using a water brush. I have to refer back to my image here to see exactly where those wings are. There are a lot of little tiny parts to this image and you'll see where using a double-sided marker will come in handy. One side is a brush marker, the other is a fine point nib, and that lets you get into some of those really tiny areas. So using a combination of markers and a water brush to just get this image completed. Enjoy the coloring!
All right, now I'm ready to add the sentiment out here at the top. May your day be a ride in the park. I thought that was perfect for this little card. And then I'm simply going to add a gingham mat and a kind of lime green mat behind my image there. Building my card. And that will complete the card for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you look for these whimsical little house mouse design stamps. They're so much fun. Thank you for dropping by today. I'd love to hear a comment from you. If you want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. Thank you to all my followers who come by weekly to visit with me. And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Hope to see you again next week and happy crafting everyone!